For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to golda.com. Check out the link in the description. What's up, guys? I'm Tomal Epsilon, and welcome to a Liverpool breaking transfer news report video. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments below what do you think about this news. So, Brandon Rogers are reportedly very, very close to signing Paris Saint Germain. Uh, winger Ezekiel Lavidz Lavadzi, he could be available for only 8 million. It is reported that uh, Paris Saint Germain lined up Nicolas Gaetan, the Benfica winger, as his replacement. And uh, we have been uh, long admirers of Lavadzi, uh, and Liverpool have been looking at him uh, for a long, long time. And this could be finally the moment where Liverpool man managed to sign him. But let me know guys, do you think he is good enough in your opinion? I think uh, he did really well at Napoli and Paris Saint-Germain, but now at Paris Saint-Germain there are so many world-class forwards that he, he can't really uh, play regularly, can't really fit into the team and he has uh, reportedly fallen out with the manager as well, uh, re uh, failed to appear uh, at the training and uh, got banned for two games just like Cavani, maybe they are just trying, trying to force through a move in January because they want to play as elsewhere. I think uh, for 8 million it's a, a small risk uh, transfer because even if it doesn't work out we can sell him on and you know 8 million is not a lot of money uh, and uh, may he could be a, a real bargain if it works out and he tears up the Premier League and bangs in some goals. We need some pace and, uh, and flair up front we need more players who can go past players like Raheem Sterling or Daniel Sturridge who can just uh, with one or two skill moves go past defenders and that's, that's, those, those are the kind of players that can win you matches. So I, I'm really excited for this transfer, I hope it goes through and I will keep you guys updated. Also, uh, we are um, uh, reportedly Alvaro Arbeloa, the former Liverpool right back, who, who I really liked when he was playing for Liverpool. It was a big mistake selling him because he went on to play for Real Madrid and he won uh, Spanish League titles, Champions League at Real Madrid. And he, we, we let him go for like peanuts and uh, he was a really good solid defender. He was not... Not spectacular going forward, but defensively was very solid player and reportedly turned out uh, interest from Arsenal and Chelsea to go to Liverpool. Of course, this is just paper talk, but uh, but um, I can see Arbeloa coming back because he he, um, he he did some interviews before Real Madrid played at Anfield and he still uh, loves the club, loves Liverpool, loved his time here. So I can definitely see him uh, coming back. And, it, and it's, it's weird because we, we replaced Arbeloa with Glenn Johnson and now we could replace Glenn Johnson with the same player, Arbeloa. It's just a <laughs> mindfuck. Uh, but yeah, I, I, would, I would welcome him back, you know, because uh, um, he's uh, reportedly not extending his contract at Real Madrid, so he could be a good option. And uh, <clears throat> also, Crystal Palace want uh, Jose Enrique and... Um, and uh, not and uh, I'm not I would I would be willing to let him go to be honest because Jose Enrique since his injury big injury layoff he's not the same player as he was before and uh, also Borini's agent said that uh, um, Borini is set to turn down another transfer this January and he really wants to stay at Liverpool I'm not sure what Borini is trying to do with his career. Maybe he's just, uh, he doesn't want to accept a, a, a lower wage uh, at, a, at a smaller club. But he, he, at his age, I mean, Borin is 23, at his age he really needs to play games. So yeah, um, let me know what do you think about that in the comments below. And also, we are uh, reportedly very close to extending contracts for Martin Skirta, Ryan Sterling, Jordan Henderson and John Flanagan, which is great news, those are four uh, key players for us and I'm really looking forward to John Flanagan getting fit again. He was brilliant in the title run in last season. So that's it for the Liverpool transfer news update video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and stay awesome guys. Have a lovely day. See you later. Goodbye.